Here we go. Random cost mod for the first time in months. Please give me huns and let houses be expensive. Please give me huns and let houses be expensive. Tootins. Not awful. But now my cheap farms aren't cheap because we all have the... Oh, man. See, I've been scammed already. Also, reminder to everyone who sees this, this is not what I look like. This is just my, my wonderful, pretty little main menu mod. Comes with this because Ande, who made this for me, is a troll. That's not my face. Well, it is my face, but it, it's not... You, you get it. Okay. God! Finally, we got a game. Okay. Villagers 150 wood! How much is Loom? Uh, I'm not sure I want to get Loom. House? Hold on. Oh, house has 20 wood. What am I doing? Oh, I suck. Okay, so we don't need food then for villagers. We need wood. How much is the lumber camp? Oh, God. Okay, we got to rush to the next stage here so these costs change. Um, I think we go mining camp. Of course, there's like no wood here. Uh, let's do this. Okay, and then we need like maybe a barracks? That's not happening. Um, A dock. Dock is going to save us here. We just need the buildings, because then the, some of the costs will change. Villagers will always be expensive, but lumber camps being expensive is a problem. Also, middle... Lorhe is such a tryhard. Middle gives resources. I always... If I'm in the middle, everyone swarms on me. If someone else goes to the middle, no one goes to the middle. I knew Lorhe was going to do that. That is so OP right now. Okay, so we just need to go... We need to rush... Whoa, I queued up lady villagers, and they're cheaper. I forgot about that. That's a thing. But you can't really choose the gender of your villagers, so it's like kind of a luck of the draw thing. Yo, I have so many of them in queue. I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting. That That is... I can't cancel those. It's a different cost, whatever I spent. Maybe gold? Because I don't have a lot of gold? Of course there's a camel scout, too. All right, so we're going to go feudal. How, how, what's the price of this stuff? Okay, no transporting. We definitely need to chop the wood in the middle. Lumber camp is not something we want to go for right now. But I'm queuing feudal behind these vills. I think that's realistic. Straggler trees. Of course, I feel like every time I've casted Loyal Legends and complained someone's on straggler trees is haunting me right now. I don't have a choice. All right, the mill. Mill is 1,200 stone. Oh, my God. See, this is why we need to go to the next stage, because that's insane. How much is a TC? So we can kind of cheat and look ahead, and apparently that's not going to be too bad. But yeah, we're on the way now. Villager cost will not change, but buildings and units and all that will. So you want to go for cheap stuff now. I actually think making a couple houses makes sense, because 20 wood is pretty cheap. So let's do that. Obviously, our goal is to basically fast castle and get a lumber camp up here. And no one is attacking him. And that's a camel scout. That's so frustrating. It's fine. Whoa, someone's lagging. Bottle dry is lagging like crazy. Okay, kill the lagger. Kill the lagger. Anyone else? Chunky frames. Yes. 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 If I'm feudal age faster, I can kill this, but this is very risky because if he hits feudal. Bottle dry, I don't think you're watching this stream right now, but if you are, can you close it and, like, every application on your PC that exists? That would be great. Okay, please, please don't be futile the same time as me. This is rough. Please hit futile much faster. Okay. Ah, uh, hold on. Bottle. You seem to be lagging, my friend. Do you have any apps open or something? 
that you could close? No. Hmm. Well, I don't want to be a jerk here, right? But this is pretty bad. We'll, tr we'll close good try this time. Q will close. Ah! Ah! Just gave up for us. Salute to Bottle Dry. I've got the middle now. That makes me happy. Okay. Um. So blacksmith is gonna come up. Yeah. We can't make a market without a mill. Ooh, I didn't think about that. How are we still lagging? Bottle, are you watching right now? Can you leave? I, Bottle, could you could you close it? Ah, there you go. Okay, it's better now. Bye, Bottle. Thank you. Lumber camp's 100 wood now. That's interesting. Okay, but we need, like, a stable. Oh, God, we can't go for a stable. What is this crap, man? Actually, no. I gotta go up, man. I gotta get a building. Blacksmith, archer range? Oh my god, this is horrible! Yeah. We're stuck here forever! How do I do? I gotta go for a mill and a market now? What's the mill? Oh, mill is doable. Okay, mill is doable. I forgot the mill price changed, right? Uh, salutes to, to Bottle, though. Uh, for, for just, just quitting. Sorry about that. That's... That's unfortunate. Well, I hate the amount of idle time that we have right now. I also hate that I killed the camel and then someone just took the middle for me. I feel very, very scammed. Wood upgrade's pretty cheap. We can get that later. We just need this mill up so we can then make a market. That is our life right now. Crazy. I'm just going to auto-scout. Actually, let's not auto-scout. Let's manual scout around us. Okay, now we need to mark it. Still have been producing villagers this whole time, which makes me sad. Oh, I somehow got a few lady villagers in there, too. Nice! That's great. Hey, how do you know the prices for Siege already? Well, the game kind of gives you a preview, but that stuff could be different. Whoa, look at supplies! The funny thing is, is you never want to get supplies in this either. Because it doesn't actually decrease the amount of food you spend on Militia. Because of how the tech, uh, how the thing works. So, no supplies this game. Sorry, Loey the Legends. Yeah. Um, I am kind of curious. I, I really want to know what the cost of, of these things will be in the next stage. That's pretty ridiculous. Did the house get cheaper or more expensive here? See, that's good. We build a lot of houses ahead of time. Um, we're going to be up. I think the wood upgrade could happen for us. Um, villagers are always going to be wood, so we really need to prioritize trees. Yeah. Village, like, the food and gold isn't as big a deal. Yeah, I'll get these upgrades. These are reasonable. We don't have castles we've been called stone, of course, but... Alright. Oh! Oh, by the way. Spies is bugged. Don't research it. Ever. It breaks the game. Yeah, Spies, spies actually gives you, like, tens of thousands of resources for some reason. Well, how much is a farm? That also doesn't change. Ooh, God. Okay, so farms are not worth... Oh, dang. Okay, so that's good to know. Oh, Moonwalking Scout. But I'm freaking Tootins. We're supposed to have cheap farms. This is a scam. Fist Traps. Uh, Fist Trap is... Actually, it's not a bad idea. YOLO. Let's do it. That's actually not a bad idea. Even just like three of them? No one else is going to do it. Okay, so what does this say the TC is going to be? 
50 food. See, that was, that was different in Dark Age. So it might change when we're in Castle Age. Okay, auto scout. Hey, sir. Did I eat it? <laughs> okay, TC. I can't afford it. Ah! What is that? This freaking game. Okay, monastery. Uh, and then university. We need to be educated. And then I guess we're just fast imping then, because I can't boom. Still keep making fishing ships. Did fish trap price change? What am I spending for this? No, that's fine. Um, how much is imp? Okay, so we just go fast imp then, I guess. <laughs> this is common in this in this mode. I really want that relic. Monks are fifty food. Let's go. Do I want to create more villagers first? I feel like creating villagers hey, first might be important here. God, my, my fish trapping skills is rough. Oh, how much is a castle? Ooh, okay. So I think we're Teutons. We need a castle. Let's build it like somewhere where it's somewhat protective of all those resources. If I would have known I was fish trapping, I would have maybe docked slightly in a slightly different spot. Man, this mining camp sucks for efficiency. Let's just go up. Now, what did I just spend for that castle? Because that price is going to change as well. What am I... Give me gold. Ugh, I hate I hate not being able to to get some of this stuff. Ooh, blacksmith upgrades. Oh crap, we're never getting attack ever. Armor's fine, okay. Especially what if Teutonic Knights are cheap? Oh baby, please, 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 please. Mm, castles are fairly reasonable. I should at least place more of them. Like this. Right? I don't even need to build them. With all my vills. Masonry? Sure. Why not? Next armor? Stone? Yeah, let's do it. Fletching? Yeah, let's do it. Teutonic Knight? Are you kidding me, game? What is this? You make armor cheap, and then you make Teutonic Knight a thousand food and six hundred gold. What is this crap? I hope Elite's cheap. Maybe it'll change the price if I go for Elite. Also, do I need another dock here? Oh my god. Okay, I don't even know. I feel like this fishing ship can't work. These two are just... They're scouts now. Just go ahead. Um, sure, we'll queue up Wheelbarrow, because that's fine. Um, Ballistics, that's fine. Heated Shot, I could do for the memes. What about a TC now? That's not much better. Dang. Okay, we gotta find the cheap units here, people. We, we, there's gonna be something that's cheap. This eco is gonna be rough. Let's get Elite. Wow, it's one wood for iron clad. Might as well get that. How much is a treb? Oh, <gasps> trebs are one wood. How much is a castle now? Okay, castle didn't change. Oh, oh man, we gotta go for lots and castles and trebs, baby. We found the cheap stuff. Okay, siege engineers, nice. Um, I need wood for. Crenellations. Elite Teutonic Knights. Are you kidding? I'm still so sad. That, I can't go Teutonic Knights. That's, that's BS. Okay, what about a stable? Ooh, one food stable is promising. That's good. Just place them on here. Whatever. Okay. Um, Crenellations for the extra range on the castle is good. We'll get that too. 
This is fine. We just mass trebs and drop castles. Um, I'm not even getting infantry armor now because I'm not making freaking infantry. But actually, maybe. Let's upgrade. We'll see how cheap things get. I still really need wood. I need wood more than anything. But yeah, like, maybe knights are cheap, maybe a lot of stuff is cheap, but we don't- what we don't want, guys, is we don't want other people to know how cheap trebs are. That's actually... Okay, knight is 50 food. Not bad, let's upgrade to cavalier, though. Um, I wanted to check hand cannons. I mean, the castle's... castle situation's pretty nice. We're not gonna... Okay, what's he making? Long swords. Ooh, that must be cheap. That must be cheap, then, if he's doing that. What's a barracks now, though? Hmm, that's pretty pricey. What's a petard cost? 20 wood. Not bad. But why do that when you can make a... trebuchet? I'm gonna treb down those longswords. <laughs> oh, longswords, one wood. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We've got it. It's it's the one resource composition. I'm gonna get paladin and hope, but like longsword is the way. The spacing here needs to be decent enough where nothing gets trapped. So I think like longsword. Um... It's a shame that I didn't know. Longsword Treb Castle is kind of the idea. If I could get a castle like here, could be good. I was gonna make an outpost, but the outpost is probably... Well, it's not bad. 249 years. He's Gerjara's making longswords. I mean, ideally, Paladin's really cheap. Hand cannon's too expensive. This stuff on this economy, not worth. Um. Definitely need more wood for barracks. Because it's like gold and wood for the barracks. I, and fortunately, I didn't know. Production being close is key here. Hmm. More villagers, more villagers. No loom, by the way. How much is loom? Yeah, we should probably get that. Paladin would be amazing. Yeah. But nope, Paladin's not going to work. You know what? Give me whatever I spent back for that. I know it wasn't a lot, but don't even need it. Ooh, what about, like, Siege Onager? How much is a Siege Workshop? Ooh, I feel I should have done this a long time ago. What was the price of Paladin? It was like 400 resources per Paladin. Why do that when you can make... You could spend 100 resources for 100 units with longswords. I hope, like, if... Like, if Gurjaras get cheap Chakrams, that could be a big problem. Ooh, hello. It's a lot of warriors! I forgot, if you're Mezzo, you get access to stables in this. For fairness sake, and you can get a lot of warriors. Get champion? No, because it changes the cost. I only get it if we're close to the end. But it will change the cost, and it's too risky, I think. What I do want to save for is the attack. That might take way too long. But I think that would be worth it. Um, check tech tree. It shows the cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't. I didn't say it, but we don't do that because that's cheating. That ruins the experience. Thank you for the tip, though. That would help me win, but that ruins the experience. Okay, so green showed promise. That is that is a lot of long swords. Guys, it's one wood per, right? So, <laughs> it's like, it's, that's crazy. 
You don't really need a lot of eco. Someone's trading? That's what they said. Not with trade cogs. Yeah, I also get the armor with Tutans. It's true. I don't want to make people angry just yet, because I don't really know what they're doing. Hmm, we should try Onager. Let's scout. Okay, so he's got arbs. Alright, well, was that my fault? Did I start that? Mm. Should probably just tread this down, to be honest. Okay, so Red's brought Trebs. Lower Hay always goes, like, finds, like, is able to fast track to the best unit types in this. Guys, Elite Teutonic Knight is. Ah! Whoa, I'm getting attacked here? What the crap? No! Well, Zolato should suck. Plumes, though, could be a problem. I'm getting Siege on a Jur. Just spent 150 resources for SO. Oh god, all hell is broken loose. Okay, we gotta use our traps then. Okay. Push yellow from this side at the same time. Definitely didn't want to take engagements right just yet, but kind of have to to defend. Uh, that those trebs might go after me immediately if I place that. Let's wait. Is those Korean knights? Sure seems like it. Hmm, Arbalest is a problem. We don't get that. Arbalest is a problem. The pathing for the Trebs is a problem. Everything's a problem. I still think Longsword is smart. <laughs> Hello, Orange. Siege Onager being cheap would, would save us here. So we're kind of hoping for that. Uh, the arbs are dying, somehow. But longsword... Hmm. See, Jonager, please be cheap. 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 Oh, baby. Come here with your plumes. Come. Come to me. Come to me. I will show you a whole new meaning of the world. Word pain. All right, uh, let them fight each other back away. We do not want conflict. What is my Treb doing over here? You imposter. And do these other civs get siege onagers? Koreans do. Should be making Trebs as well because the Trebs are so cheap, right? Oh God, he knows. He knows. He knows. Mongols have it too. Shoot. Okay. Um, so 100 years. I wonder if I should stop making bills. I can't bring myself to stop making bills. <laughs> Look at my trip. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my 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 God. This. What is this? My guy's going siege onagers against my castle right now. Okay. And here I thought I was the only one with the good ideas. Um, could be a problem. Hundred years. I mean, I'm Tootins. If I garrison a bunch of units, this could be epic, right? It should be... Uh, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. We need more cat. What the... What is this? Why are you here? My fish traps. Infantry units don't fire arrows? Oh, true, 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 true. Definitely knew that. Uh, okay. 
We got a hundred years, but I gotta take like green's still a threat. We gotta remove this. There's a relic there. Ninety years. Attack the enemy with monks. Um, we need more castles, ideally just for pop space, really. Okay, green is gonna die ish. Oh god, the pathing. Oh jeez, this is rough. Uh, why did I build that there? Oh no. I'd be laughing at myself so much if I was casting. Oh jeez. Oh shoot. Um. Okay. Well. Well. You know, we're we're going after the guy who's going mid right now, which is kind of a problem. Lottles are not so good as a unit. But he he attacked me. We have to defend ourselves here, especially for the little side shenanigans. That wasn't cool. Alright, big question. Do we upgrade? Guys, do we upgrade to two-handed swordsmen? I, I, I will do it after I queue up at least, like, 100 more units. I need the barracks first, because the, the price will change forever. And we might regret it otherwise. I think the others are going to be able to help out and kill Red. I could be wrong, but... And my siege monitors are slowly on the way. I think we'll be able to, to compete here. Let's have some heavy scorpions out, but like, yeah, they're the siege onagers. I think we'll be okay. And then green's out of the picture. Uh, 50 years. Oh my, I swear to... This guy, I, green, I was going to take it easy on you. Where's your base? Where's your face? Why are you here? You're going to rewatch this later and think you're so funny. Okay, we've got to reset this. Teamwork, 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 teamwork. Why are you attacking me? Uh, he's probably like, why not both? Oh, God. Goodbye. That is very sad. You're not wrong. Gray continues to attack my units, but it's fine. It's fine. Gotta clear red out of middle here. Gotta clear... Gotta focus red. Gotta reset it. Gotta get the reset on red. I'm not killing you, Teal. That's... Gray. Gray. I'm looking for red. Looking for red. Teamwork. Teamwork. Okay. Alright. Alright. This freaking guy. Let me tell you. Alright. We're gonna upgrade to Swordsman now. Got a, a reset. Okay, and that's why Gray was doing it, because now Gray's in a monster's position. Um. Oh, shoot. Oh, Mongol Siege Onagers are a problem. Oh, man. Still haven't killed him? I don't know how much I'm paying for those stone walls. Too much, apparently. Hold on, let's delete those. Oh, that was like three... That was like 600 food. Oh, God. I don't think Gray can win it with just Siege Onagers, though. No, it's so expensive now, but Champion's cheap. I really regret upgrading them. I think that's going to be a mistake. Mm. Whatever. I, I Green at this point doesn't really matter to me. We just gotta push mid best we can. Ah, back away, back away, back away. Mm. 
So hopefully champion's cheap, because we ruined our prices now. Gray's got mid, huh? As you can see, having 200 units is not easy to control. Especially with the new and improved pathing. Where are you going that way? Am I going to get the middle right now? Oh, I have mid. Hmm. Do I like this or do I hate this? I think I like it. Where's my champion upgrade, by the way? Oh, it's in Q. Oh, I can't... Whatever. We gotta do it. We gotta hope it's cheaper than what we have right now. Okay, I would like to be dropping castles here. Oh, hello, Longsword. That's definitely Gray. Gray's gonna run in here looking for glory, and we're gonna get a big boop on the Siege Onagers. I swear if green attacks my main base again. <laughs> oh, 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 boop it! My unit's slower, so... I'm hearing a lot of sea janitor noises. There's the glory. I suck. Go champions, go. The trick is to send in like one or two at a time because what is that noise? Uh Champion is 300 wood and 200 gold. Who told me to move upgrade? I can't make crap now, people. I told you we shouldn't have done that. I was such a rookie move. Oh, and this guy knows how to micro. Well, never mind. I take it back. No, he doesn't. Yeah, I, I take those words back. Knows how to micro down my freaking villagers. Prepare to train a large yeah. army. I will send you as many resources as I can spare. Okay. We we gotta we gotta we're full camp mode here. Alright, we, we cannot we really cannot lose units. Fifty six years. Now red red didn't upgrade. Also, can I get an upgrade maybe on attack? Okay. Okay, we got Trebs coming in over there, I'm seeing. Okay. Yep, good, 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 good. Obviously, these castles are going to be destroyed. Okay, we got more action, more action. See, Jonathan Micro needed. Trebs need to be pulled back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap. Ah, so much army. And I can't make units anymore because it's too expensive. No. Go, 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 go. Get the units in the middle. Get the traps in the middle. Oh, it reset already. Crap. All right. I get it. 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 All right. Our, oh, God. Uh, we're done. We're dead. We, we, we shouldn't have gone for it. We are dead. Because now, if we need to make a champion, and I've queued up some instinctively, it's 500 resources for one of them. So I guess, like, we're full siege onager mode now. Freaking green! 
Of course you're here. Maybe Hal will be cheap? Yeah, maybe. Um, might as well upgrade that while we still can. Well, okay, we deserve that, right? We deserve that. Normally, that's not like streamer persecution, right? That's that's me going to the middle. And, you know, you gotta, you gotta go stop the middle. I've, I've seriously been disrupted here. This is rough. You kind of got streamer persecuted by green? I mean, maybe. I don't think it was too bad. This, this shenanigans is not, not a fan. I think this is a little bit of, you know, picking on the streamer, but. It wasn't too bad. Um, what's the middle look like? See, they can make units. This is why you never upgrade stuff. I had a one resource unit and I upgraded. And I remember I asked and a bunch of people in chat said yes, but I forgot chat doesn't want me to win. Sigh. Okay. Um, so what can we make that's cheap? Trebs. How many people are here right now and didn't realize we're doing random cost mods? And are confused with what I'm talking about. I'm sure a few. Uh, we need more castles for pop space. I swear to God, Green, you run into my eco again. Well, I, I can't even threaten. I can't do anything. I don't even have a TC right now. Get away from my eco. Now, I'm not going to revenge play on green. Now, we're just going to... Uh, the plan here is... Is to actually win. Somehow. That's the hope. That's the dream. Now, if I have to, you know, win by taking out some, some of green's position, then I may consider doing that, but... Hey, a wonder's cheap. Let's make a wonder. It doesn't help us win, but let's... Green! Get the crap out of here! Every single time, you're like a freaky cockroach. You just don't die. Always showing up with random crap at the side of my base. Why? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Bam! Nice split. More like splat. To be fair, the Zolados have actually worked quite well. And we lost another castle. Okay, so Siege Onagers and Trebs are something we could realistically make with this economy. Um, I don't want to drop TCs at that price. I can't believe I just spent a thousand resources on the TC. Crazy. How's the middle looking? 22 years. We're missing it, guys. That's not going to work for Teal. This is going to be a long one. Um, Siege Workshops and Siege Onagers. That's the play, because at least other people don't get them. I don't know why I'm clicking it. I'm instinctively clicking it to show you guys stuff. It kind of hurt green a little bit. That makes me happy. And did you check how? Ooh, pikemen are one, are one food. Making pikes against longswords, though, is very sad. And barracks are really expensive, too. But honestly, I should make something. Oh, shoot. They didn't actually reset it. Oh, shoot. It's over. Oh, dang. Nelson Muntz has got the job done. GG. That was funny, man. That was funny. Sorry, I was so paranoid. I was waiting for green. I swear green's gonna have something over here, right? No, but green did make a wonder. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, that's a cool wonder. That's cool. <laughs> I love how green made a wonder. Respect to you, green. I know you're a little bit my nemesis this game. That was fun. Um, <laughs> looks like orange was also very much defeated. Or yellow, sorry. And was like, what can I build? Green offered peace. Really? Oh, well, I missed it. I missed it. There, I missed a lot of chat here. Anyways, GG, everybody. Well played.
So, but but think about what won the game here. Viking Cavalier? Wait, what was the price of Cavalier? I skipped past Cavalier. There's no way. What? Anyways, um... I don't know how Teal's making that many Cavalier. That must be a weird thing. But the Long Sword was just still one resource. It was still one wood. Also, it looks like uh, Nelson was able to get past the really cheap attack upgrade too, or the really expensive attack upgrade. So let's see. Forging was 800 wood and 400 gold, so I never got it. But behind that, my friends, was 60 wood for iron casting and then 40 stone for Blast Furnace. See, that was something I was thinking about. Holy crap! Bits from Tree Frog Gaming says, Unfortunately, I didn't have the pleasure of knowing about your content until you came back to Twitch. Extremely happy I found you now. I genuinely enjoy the content and look forward to all your content. Thank you, thank you. Um, holy crap, salutes and chat please for Tree Frog Gaming. How many people experienced random cost mod for the first time there? That's something else, right? Let, let's look through the tech tree now. This is one of the most fun parts of random cost mod to see, uh, you know, what things would have cost if we would have tried it. Um, fast fire ships were cheap. Hype. Um, anything crazy here? Uh, Doc is pretty reasonable. War Galley was not. That's for sure. <laughs> Trade Cog. <laughs> As if trading on water wasn't already difficult enough. 800 food, 400 wood. Let me just briefly go back to the game and see what everyone else is making. We had Hussar from Red. How much was Hussar? I didn't even get light cap with my sieve. Um, 30 stone. Hmm. Not that exciting, but... Yeah, it's better than spending 80 food and 40 gold. When Reminder, a farm was like... A farm was like 300 food and 300 gold this game. I actually want to look and see if anyone farmed. Look, 390, 300. Did anyone build a farm? That'd be really funny. Mm, no farmage. And and that's rigged. I'm Tootins. I'm supposed to have cheap farms. What is this game? Super duper rigged. Okay, uh, what other civs we have here? We had Gurjaras. So let's go through some of the civs we had and look at their unique units, right? Um. So Gurjaras... Um, actually, what was an elephant archer? Ooh, elephants are usually really good in this. I was curious on that. Um, siege elephants? Nah. Obviously, it sucked for a lot of civs that didn't have siege on it, so that was a positive for us. Bombard cannon, I never really checked. Bombard cannon was only 50 food. Okay, but what about the unique tech? What about the chakram? Because the chakram's really low HP, and you need to mass them. Yeah, 100 food is, is so much for a chakram thrower. Okay. Uh, what about Berserks from Vikings? Still, you know, compared to that one wood longsword, still not looking that reasonable. Ooh, Chieftains was pretty pricey, but obviously that would be nice to have if you're going infantry like that. Um, what other civs were in the game? Bengalis. I still want to check civ the any civ of battle elephants. What about, like, maybe Mezzo and Eagles? I actually feel really bad for anyone who ever gets Mayans. I feel less bad for green because green was attacking me all the time. But oh, <laughs> oh my god. So with Mayans, you don't really have a tech tree because you don't have traditional stable units. Like, I mean, in this, out of pure sympathy, they're given the Zelata warrior. For an elite eagle, it's a thousand wood and two thousand gold. Oh, uh, and it's always funny too, right? Because like regular Eagle, you look at the upgrade cost, you're like, oh, yo, it's only 100 wood. Let's go. Let's upgrade to Elite. And you click it and you get all hyped and then... Arr! That's the worst one yet. That's super funny. Um, I guess there's nothing... I guess the Plumed Archer, I, I noticed, was something that we saw some of. But I it was an Elite Plumed Archer, I hope. Even that. Man, Green, you... You were completely screwed. This random cost mod completely boned you today. I feel feel really bad. The unique text being cheap doesn't really do much to, to compensate for that. Um, all right, what else do people want to see? Now, obviously, we can check civs that weren't in this game. I think we should check Mangadai for Mongols and War Wagons for Koreans, though. Because they're really good units. Um, Okay, so it actually wasn't that bad. It's just Gray realized Siege Onager was cheap and figured why go for Mangadai. 
Um, and then what, what did I say? Koreans? Then we can check other stuff. Yeah, very similar, actually. People want to check the Hussite Wagon? Sure, we'll check Hussite Wagon. By the way, I do have the DLC, just not on my main account for some reason. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> I do actually have the DLC. <laughs> Full-time Age of Empires, by the way. Don't hate me, Microsoft. Um, what what am I what am I looking for? Oh, Bohemians. Sorry, I fell off self-conscious. They said they were gonna give me the DLC after I already bought up my other account, and that's why I haven't figured that out yet. Anyways, um, okay, so there's the wagon. Let's let's check like the big chunkers. Persians. Persians. Oh my god, that's actually really good. Actually, stone is better. Thirty stone for an elite war elephant is better. And the upgrade to go to elites, not too bad. That would have been that that still would be awkward, of course, at a certain point. But they're so good that that would be pretty epic, anyways. Um, also, um, I wanted to check, like, what about this? This Centurion for the Romans is normally pretty strong. Okay, just wood. What about like the Cataphract for the Byzantines? Um, Byzantines. Mm, 50 food elite cat is not bad, but again, you couldn't make farms, so that still kind of hurts. I wanted to check, like, regular battle elephants, because we haven't checked that yet, so Burmese would have that. There's normally a one wood or one food unique unit every single time. We should check for that. I always like to check... Okay, so that's okay. I always like to check the, like, really cheap ones and see how expensive they are. Like, the Malay Karambit Warrior would be really funny. Because it's so weak. <laughs> yeah, this is what I mean. Spending 800 wood and 500 gold for a 30 HP unit with 7 attack. <laughs> it feels like a bit of a scam. Um, What about latest, maybe? Oh, there it is. That would have been GG. Yeah, no one kills that with this, right? Because the cheapest thing otherwise was just the... Uh, was just the long swords, which was also one wood. But elite latest is way better than a long sword. And castles were cheap. So I think Lithuanians would have actually been the, the most OP one here. You don't play this for fairness. Unless like there's a good counter to that that was also cheap. Like Saracen Mameluk? Nope. Uh maybe like a Kamiuk? Nope. Um what else, like, is really good against the latest? There's not much. Camel Archer, maybe? Not against Siege Onagers, but no. Oh, oh, well, regular. Ooh, Genoese Crossbow, true. Genoese Crossbow would get flattened by Siege Onager, but... Yeah. So, the way this works, guys, is every day the mod resets and everything becomes random again. Uh, and it's really fun. So, if you guys have never played it, I would encourage giving it a shot. Especially if you've got some friends that maybe kind of suck at the game. I didn't say it. You, you thought it. Uh, you know, it could even things out, possibly. But my tip is, like, try and... Um, the goal is to always try and find the cheap unit. There's going to be a couple things that you can find that are cheap, and you just got to stick with that. Uh, what were the Vilhais in this game? See, my economy was... Oh, that's not me. Oh, crap. That's embarrassing. Okay, my economy was not good. Well done, Nelson. But, um, <clears throat> that's because he got free wheelbarrow and free handcart, right? Uh, how did he get those resources collected? Relics, maybe? But, um, like, Vil count wasn't that crazy for most players. And they were still able to make a lot, right? So that's that's kind of what's fun. Uh, people wanted to know what this lotto price was. Hopefully that was cheap for, for the mine player. Yeah, I never really found the, um... This to be good YouTube content for the main channel, but I might upload this to extras. It's pretty fun. And I like to do this to start off community game days. Where's the freaking stable, man? Where did they put it? I don't have it. Does it show it here? Oh, Mayans don't technically get the Zolotl, so it doesn't show it in the tech tree. I bet if you check the Aztecs, though, it'll show it. Huh? Wait, so Zolato isn't shown in the tech tree because they have to convert the stable to get it. Interesting. Can some... Yeah, because it's like an Easter egg. I guess Green would have to tell us. Green, 
This is so sad. I don't know. I don't think that's your Twitch name. Can you tell me how much you spend for this lot of warrior, please? But uh, uh, KD is something I'll show, and then yeah, we'll move on to a normal community game. But good stuff. They have a special unit they can't normally build. Yeah, the Zolata Warrior is something that can only be built if you convert a stable normally. But for this mode, the mod creator made it so they can make stables and make Zolatals because they're basically one of the worst civs you can have um, in random cost mod. So 